It was the most brutal use of police force in South Africa in the almost 20 years since the end of apartheid. 34 striking miners were shot dead when police opened fire on them in August 2012. The violence was the culmination of months of fighting at the Marikanar Platinum Mine near Johannesburg. South Africa's President Jacob Zuma set up a judicial inquiry into the killings. Now that inquiry is accusing the police of lying and fabricating evidence. In a statement, the commission said, We have obtained documents which give the impression that they are contemporaneous documents, but which appear in fact to have been constructed after the events to which they refer. We have obtained documents which in our opinion demonstrate that the South African Police Service's version of events at Marikana is in material respects not the truth. We have to say that absent a convincing explanation, the material which we have found has serious consequences for the further conduct of the work of this commission. We can only hope that this will make a big difference, that the commissioner, the Judge Farlam, the head commissioner, will now start subpoenaing uh, the uh, communication that went on between the police and, um, and their minister, and between the minister and other ministers. Between the and the cabinet minute meetings, none of the correspondence between the 9th and the 16th of August, which was the fatal day of the shooting, from the government has yet been supplied. The commission made its statement after examining a computer hard drive given to it by a police officer who'd been giving evidence. It's now suspended hearings until next week, while it investigates just how much misleading evidence has been submitted by the South African Police Service. The police service itself hasn't made any statements. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera.